In mathematics, the Newton polygon is a tool for understanding the behavior of polynomials over local fields. In the original case, the local field of interest was the field of formal Laurent series in the indeterminate x, i.e., the field of fractions of the formal power series ring k, x, over k, where k was the real number or complex number field. This is still of considerable utility with respect to Puizu expansions. The Newton polygon is an effective device for understanding the leading terms AXR of the power series expansion solutions to equations P equals zero where P is a polynomial with coefficients in K X. The polynomial ring, that is, implicitly defined algebraic functions. The exponents are here a certain rational numbers. Depending on the branch chosen, and the solutions themselves a power series in K, Y, with Y equals X1, D for a denominator D corresponding to the, branch. The Newton polygon gives an effective, algorithmic approach to calculating D. After the introduction of the p-adduct numbers, it was shown that the Newton polygon is just as useful in questions of ramification for local fields and hence in algebraic number theory. Newton polygons have also been useful in the study of elliptic curves. Definition A priori, given the polynomial over a field, the behavior of the roots will be unknown. Newton polygons provide one technique for the study of the behavior of the roots. Let be a local field with discrete valuation and let with, then the Newton polygon of is defined to be the lower convex hull of the set of points ignoring the points with, restated geometrically, plot all of these points by on the xy plane. Let's assume that the points indices increase from left to right. Then, starting at P0, draw a ray straight down parallel with the y-axis, and rotate this ray counterclockwise until it hits the point PK1. Break the ray here. Now draw a second ray from PK1 straight down parallel with the y-axis, and rotate this ray counterclockwise until it hits the point PK2. Continue until the process reaches the point Pn. The resulting polygon is the Newton polygon. Another, perhaps more intuitive way to view this process is this. Consider a rubber band surrounding all the points P0, Pn. Stretch the band upwards, such that the band is stuck on its lower side by some of the points. The vertices of the Newton polygon are exactly those points. For a neat diagram of this, CCH63 of Local Fields by J.W.S. Castles, LMS Student Texts 3, Cup 1986. It is on P99 of the 1986 paperback edition. History Newton polygons are named after Isaac Newton, who first described them and some of their uses in correspondence from the year 1676 addressed to Henry Oldenburg. Applications A Newton polygon is sometimes a special case of a Newton polytope, and can be used to construct asymptotic solutions of two variable polynomial equations like another application of the Newton polygon comes from the following result. Let be the slopes of the line segments of the Newton polygon of arranged in increasing order, and let be the corresponding lengths of the line segments projected onto the x-axis. Then for each integer, has exactly roots with valuation. Symmetric function explanation. In the context of evaluation, we are given certain information in the form of the valuations of elementary symmetric functions of the roots of a polynomial, and require information on the valuations of the actual roots in an algebraic closure. This has aspects both of ramification theory and singularity theory. The valid inference is possible to the valuations of power sums by means of Newton's identities.